new details about the sad life of Elon Musk uh, since acquire, uh, acquiring Twitter have come out, and uh, they're crappy. Literally. Uh, now, this is according to an unnamed Twitter engineer who spoke on the condition of anonymity because he fears getting fired because well, pretty much everybody gets fired if you say anything at all to Elon Musk uh, that he does not like. Fired! Oh. Fired! But literally, Elon Musk right there. Uh, if you do anything. <laughs> Even if you tell him, hey, maybe you ought to scale back your annex on Twitter and actually do the job and, and make the company better. No, fired, fired, get out of here. You're fired. Yeah, so that's what he does. Uh, so anyway, according to this unnamed engineer, Space Karen, Elon Musk, uh, is, well, he's paranoid. He's got some, he's got some issues, right? Uh, apparently, he gets followed around, around the clock at Twitter HQ, which is where he lives now, by the way. Like, this, this weirdo literally lives in the corporate offices of Twitter. How weird and sad. These bodyguards are tasked with following him all around the building and uh, even into the bathroom to watch him poop. To make sure that, of course, nobody attacks him while he's sitting on the throat. Isn't that amazing? What is going on here? <laughs> what? Dumps. They call them dumps. Big, massive dumps. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Now, that engineer uh, said he thought that uh, Musk's use of the bodyguards inside of Twitter's HQ in San Francisco suggests a lack of trust in the company's employees. Uh, I mean, it, it's either that or... People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times. And he just needs to help with the plunging? I, who knows what's going on? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not in the building. Uh, weird. It's very weird. Uh, now, look. Here's the thing. Uh, serious point. Does he not trust the employees? Well, yeah. I mean, that's because he has, uh, since acquiring Twitter, he's gone on a reign of terror, basically firing pretty much everyone who knows what they're doing, uh, forcing people, of course, back into the office when it's not necessary to do their job. They can do it by remote work. Um, he's also taken away benefits like free food, free lunches, which, hey, are nice. I, I mean, I back when I was uh, working at an actual place and not for myself, it would have been nice to have free lunches. Yeah, I never had that. Uh, and then also, as I mentioned before, he literally moved into Twitter headquarters and went full goblin mode. Maybe actually is a literal goblin now. When's the last time Elon Musk has saw the sun emerged from the building? We don't know. We don't know. Obviously, the man has a few, let's say, issues. I would, I, at least in my non-professional opinion, he's he's got he's got some issues. Um, mainly, I think divorce dad energy, major divorce dad energy. And by the way, the 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 way that he's dealing with this, and we've all seen this, the 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 complete meltdown. Basically, uh, he's been the edge lord, Keck four chan memes guy. Uh, I am the I am the edge lord of Kekistan. By the way, even though he caters to all the right-wingers on Twitter, they still hate him. That cat turd still hates him. Now, look, when it comes to bodyguards, obviously, a lot of CEOs, a lot of, you know, wealthy people, of course they have bodyguards. They spend money on safety, of course. But it seems like the paranoia uh, here, uh, having them following him into the bathrooms, like, that's bizarre. Like, are you afraid a, a disgruntled Twitter employee is going to murder you in the toilet? Is that is that what you think is going to go on? Do you, wait, aren't you the same person who at least aligns themselves with the people who think that all the Twitter employees were blue-haired, soy-drinking, they-them fenboys? Or, you know, 
pink-haired communist. Honestly, like, what are you so scared of? It's amazing. Now, that engineer, uh, again, also said the bodyguards were bulky and tall. And they look like they're from a Hollywood movie. (laughs) Well, all right, sure. But here's the thing. Uh, Elon Musk, if he's not going through something, uh, for one, I think he is. Again, my personal non-professional opinion, all right? Uh, I think he's going through something. Uh, But I think that, you know, if he manages to come out of it, then the thing that he would need to worry about more than being shanked on the toilet is uh, being sued. Uh, That's a much more realistic possibility. 